today we're going to talk about chords a little bit. You know, most songs tend to use them, so that'll be good. It will. A chord consists of triads. What triads are is their intervals 1, 3, and 5 for a major triad. We'll find the C major triad starting because we know the C major scale. I've, I've, I think I've gone over this in some other lessons, but this is going to go more in depth. Go a little slower pace. Alright, okay, remember the C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, let's pick out the one, third, three, and five intervals out of that scale. We'll start off with a C, which is the one, which is the first. One, two, three. So you gotta remember where those are. And then you go one, two, three, four. I'm sorry. So you go one, two, three, four, five, but you run into a problem. The third and the fifth are on the same string. You can't play two notes on the same string at once. So what you're going to have to do is find the same note, that's out of tune, find the same note on the next string down, which is the G. So it's C, E, G. And there's your triad for C major. Now we're down to the B string, so we start over again at the next C, which is the first, which is at the first fret. If you want to stop and just make it a triad, you just play those three. But if you want to make it a full chord, you try to play every string. So we got the C, E, G, then C. And then what can you? Well, you find the C because you think, what can I do on the B string to get a one, three, or five in the first five frets? So what you're doing, and you don't really want to go past that because then you'd have to do this incredible reach that jazz guitarists do. <laughs> he knows he's in jazz band. So, uh, so you go B, one. there's your C, so it's, and then you go to the E string and you realize E is a third. So, and you don't play this top E because once again you don't want anything lower than the root note. It would change the chord if you were to play all the strings. And it sounds kind of funny. But you, you will find some people will play the C a little differently and add this G up here. It's a different sound because it's using the G as the root note instead of C. But it is still a C major chord. It's it's labeled differently. It would be called a is it a G slash C? C C slash G maybe? That's it. Yes. C major slash G. But it's a kind of common chord you might see. Mm -hmm. Just in case you're wondering, hey, what's the score? Because we're super powerful. All right, we can do G next. That would work pretty well. There are, there are a lot of different ways to play G, and we'll show you how to do all those different. Well, we'll stick to something in open position, you know, very basic chords that you probably already used to by now. Okay, so we start on the E string. Is there any? Well, you have to start with the G. So you just go to the third fret, E string, and you go down the list. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. You run into that problem again. Play that D. How you go from there? There's your triad. Right. That sounds pretty good, but let's make let's add a few more notes, making a full chord. Then. All right. So we go to the G string. It's an eight. Uh, oh, it's an octave. Octave. An eight's the same as a one. If you're looking at it interval wise, it's just an octave. So you can add it in when you're playing uh, triads. So you have that, and you go to the then Next you go track. to the third, and that is a B. B. And that is in the triad. The triad is G, B, and D. D. So you can go there, you can play that, and then you go to the E string, and you play another G. Third fret. So it's... That's one way to play it. Another way is if you go back to the B string, remembering everything else, you notice that if you go to the third fret, that's a D. It's a D. So you can also play a G. Uh, the tabs are 3, 2, 0, oh, oh, 3, 3. I'll switch back uh, back and forth. Here's the one with the, is it a fifth? Uh, D? Yeah. Yes, yeah, the fifth. All right, I'll, I'll go to the, the one with the third and the one with the fifth. Okay. You can switch between those and you can 
play them many different ways. You can play them this way, this way, this way. All different because. But all right, you can get different chords. Uh, depending on the chord progression is a different way that you want to position the chord. We'll go. There's the first. There's the fifth. There's another first. And there's the third. Get the third and you drop it half step, which is one fret. And then now you have an A minor because that's the only third that you have to worry about. And the tabs for that are O two two one zero. Starting on the A string. And that's a simple way to find a minor chord. Chord creation is the chords used in a song, and right, it's yeah. uh, going between chords. It's, they'll progress different ways through the scale of the song. We'll we'll do an easy chord progression in C major, going from a C to a G to an A minor to an F. Okay. And this is used in um, "Falls on Me" by Fuel and a lot of other songs. It's, it's a really common chord progression. All right. But, using all these chords you took out of C scale and let me play the C scale over the chords and we'll see how that sounds. Alright. But alright, let's, let's try so. this. 